Hi, my name is Dorian Harwood, and I live in Rockville, Maryland. I'm a lifelong Republican, and I voted for every Republican presidential candidate since Ronald Reagan. Then Donald Trump came along, and, you know, at first I felt like it was a joke when he announced his candidacy. And then the more the primaries and the debates came along, every time I thought that he had done something so ridiculous that this would have to convince people that he was not suited to be president, it seemed like he just grew in popularity. Um, so that when he got the nomination, I made the decision. I just couldn't in good conscience vote for him. So I did vote for Hillary Clinton. Um, never thought I would vote for a Democrat, let alone a Clinton. But the rhetoric that Donald Trump spewed during the um, election process, um, during the debates, and every time he spoke just about um defaming immigrants, people of color, women, and disabled people. Um, I just didn't feel he was suited for office and couldn't imagine looking at my children and grandchildren, you know, someday and trying to explain to them why I had voted for such a person. Um, after he was elected, I kind of got lulled into things because I felt like the economy was doing good. We had good job numbers. And I thought, well, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I can vote for him. He is a Republican. Then in the last year, um, I've really been slapped upside the head again and convicted that this man cannot continue in office. His handling of the corona crisis, his first dismissal that, would, that it was even a problem, and then his lack of leadership during that time. That, combined with his recent handling of the racial tensions that have been going on in the country um, after the George Floyd killing and the police brutality and killing of so many other African Americans, um, he never addressed the nation to try to bring our country together, um, never showed any sympathy or empathy toward the African American community and the things they have been through. Instead, he decided to gas the peaceful protesters in Lafayette Park so that he could march across the park and hold his Bible in front of the church um, in a show of some sort of um, show of his Christianity, which, frankly, I would never, you know, question anybody's faith, but I frankly don't think that he's ever read the Bible. Probably wasn't even his Bible. Um, at the same time, Joe Biden came on TV and gave a speech um, talking about what he would do to bring unity to the country during such a time. You know, he addressed the nation and he was presidential. And Trump still hasn't um, shown any sort of leadership in handling this crisis. Continues to call the protesters looters and thugs. Not even just dismissing the entire movement and, you know, acting like they're all violent people. So, um, again, I will not be voting for Trump this year. I will vote for Joe Biden. And I really urge all of you to do the same. Thanks.